See, what is this? In Focus with Cheryl Mills. Cheryl Wills. I guess it's, it's, I'm at my fraternity brother's house, you know, so I, I wear his clothes, I hang out. This is this is my room where I'm here when I'm sequestering myself from the, the, the COVID-19, the, 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 the virus, you know what I mean? Anyway, so he must have been on some sort of show with her and got this fine coffee mug, big one. I don't have coffee and I'm really not a coffee drinker. Got tea. Hey. Lemon zinger. Hey, you know, COVID, you're supposed to be drinking hot tea. Hey, it's actually a, 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 a chilly, I say chilly, it's not true. It's not a very warm day out today. And it's like we're still in winter time here in, in North America. Who knows? They leave that alone. But I also got, since it's my brother, he got some he got some frosted donuts, little like Drake's frosted donuts in the thing. So that took me a few. What's he gonna do? He's my friend, he's my fraternity brother. Mmm. Now, as I do the unhealthy donuts, what you give me? Oh. We got a B12 vitamin. I still haven't looked it up and, tell me, and find out why exactly why the VA, you know, socialized medicine, why the VA gave me B12 vitamin. I better look it up. I mean, I could look at my records, whatever have you, but I want to look it up and then think what does B12 do for you or against you, or whatever it is. This is very hot, so I got to make sure. Wait a second. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. <sighs> Too hot. And uh, so, oh, by, by the way, since I was talking, I was talking to my um, my best friend in um and um talking about brothers, my best friend in um. St. Louis, you know, he's been there for a while, so he knows all about the landscape, whatever it is. Because uh, somebody had sent me a thing where St. Louis, you know, the, the first 13, I mean, so, so many cases of COVID was like, was like, uh, you know, like black people, ADOS, you know, oh, that's all I got. Anyway, dead <laughs> from the virus. But now, but he points out, like everybody else is finally pointing out, that's why it's going to be for so interesting what happens with this whole virus and as they collect the data or who collects the data and who does what with the data. When you realize it, most of the people die from underlying conditions. You know what I mean? Like you got asthma, you know, you got, you know, whatever, you, you got high blood pressure, whatever it is. And and of course, you know, like, like JB points out, like, but we all point out, you know, well, if you put, if you take a group of people and put them in a, in an area where you, 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 you're killing them with lead water and, and you and you got the disposal things and your industry was there and they was polluting the area and then they left. And so they build a housing project over there, whatever you're going to have, like, you know, your immune system is the thing. So like I tell people again, don't, don't, don't look at me just because I'm eating chocolate donuts. I better not eat that right in front of you. Uh, but you know, you got to build your immune system. Tea. You know, this, this doesn't have any sugar, no honey or nothing like that. It's straight. Mm. <sighs> Let it go down your body. Okay, so that's one thing. But here's the thing. Here's what I want to talk to you about today. I, I'm, I'm not going to see Donald Trump. Now, I, I know I mentioned the name. Everybody goes crazy. I know they don't worry about it. But somehow you say Donald Trump, everybody pays attention. <laughs> they pay attention. Donald Trump. What did you say? Donald Trump. <laughs> Our hero. <laughs> I don't know. I'll something. <laughs> I'll Carnival Parker. Or whatever. Let me not call him many names. Our president. Here's the thing. You have to understand, Donald. First of all, like all presidents, he's doing somebody else's bidding. It just so happens that most presidents, when they come to them, let's say most presidents like, okay? Because if I look at all the presidents from, no, 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 no. It has to be, okay, not that Ronald Reagan was separate. You know, well, at least from, from the Bush Right from the Bush, what happened with um, Clinton? Right here, he a poor boy got into their circles, and then he did the boot. He became their boy doing a bit of for their circle, even though he he tried he's playing the saxophone. Everybody thought he was black, but you know, he, you know, and then and then you know, our our, our Nobel Prize winner you know, back in the day called him the black president and you know, whatever you know. But anyway, so so so. so 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 Clinton did the bidding of a, of a group of people that captured him. Okay, we 
South Africa, we call it state capture. Here's how you do state capture. Here's how you really do state capture. Let me try to enlighten you on this. Because, you know, Bernie did this, you know, he said, my good friend, what happens if you know somebody say they're getting out of law school, they go to law school, they're, 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 they're top of their class or whatever, or they're near the top. You only have to forget the top people, near the top. You make friends with them. They come into my law firm. Da, 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 da. Then when you say a political guy, our, our law, our, our ex-law partner, whatever, is, is running a thing, can't get a, a you know. Uh, contribute to his funds. Then after a while, you know, you make a friends with a certain circle of people. Remember, you're around lawyers all the time, so you're making friends with lawyers. Lawyers, doctors, and Indian chiefs, right? So when something happens 15 years later, you say, oh, this is my good, my, my, this is my roommate when I was in college. They go to the same colleges, you know, be it, you know, Harvard, Yale, Brown, whatever, they go to the same college, right? Stanford, whoever, Princeton, you know. Okay, so they say, no, we, we were roommates together. Or the, this professor, oh, this is my professor in blah, 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 blah. So what happens is late, years later, 15 years later, or 20 years later, when you're in some sort of position, you say, hey, fraternity buddy, <laughs> I need a job. Or my cousin needs a job, you know. Now, since you're friends and you're going to do things for friends, you your friend has basically captured you and you use and, 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 you, and you use your power to hire his cousin or whatever have you so for me that's how you capture the state you 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 you, you what you do there's all kinds of state capture by the way you know there's coups that's a state capture whatever it is but if you stacked your 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 your, your parliamentarians we don't have a parliamentary if you stack your your congress you know the people from the same cast cast C-A-S-T-E, same cast. They went to the same schools, you know, and you can call from that kind of thing. Then you're going to have, a, you're going to always get the same result. So I'm going to get to Bernie, um, not Bernie, I'm going to get to um, 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 the orange guy, um, so I shouldn't call him it, the president in just a second. Let me just go and just um, uh, say one thing that, that, that sort of, to fine tune this, fine tune this little lecture here, this little talk. And, and so what happens with this with the state capture, you do things for friends. That's the whole thing. So as you make as you go along the way, you know, you might not do things for your third grade friend because, you know, they're no longer as important because they become the sanitation worker huh? than the whatever. You know, so if you have this group of people that they have no friends that are sanitation workers or when they when they're making a decision for policy, they they they're not consulting, you know, the sanitation worker when they make it a. A policy decision on sanitation, then depending on other lawyers and da 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 da, you know, you see, you're going to get the results you get. But here's the interesting thing that I find fascinating about Donald Trump. First of all, people are finally getting it. I say you got to just ignore Donald Trump, just ignore him instead of giving him. And so every day, if he's on a, was he on six o'clock? Whenever he comes on the on the air, you know, and people are watching him. Well. He's taking an hour, 15 minutes, an hour, two hours out of your economy, out of your day for listening to his nonsense. I say, ignore him because he's going to do what he's do. He has his mission. Even if he didn't have a, con he has his mission, consciously, unconsciously, he has his mission. What does he speak for? Remember, he comes from a certain class of people. You know, they had money. You know, his grandfather, Howard Hay Finagle, got money. Then his father, you know, pimped the system, got more money and excluded black people, and that whole kind of thing, you know, you know all that stuff, that he comes along, right? And uh, he's going to the best schools, so he's making friends with those people that you think they, he's not making friends with, he's making friends with those people. But for me, he's like, he's like, a, like I said, I, I used to read a lot of spy novels, right? He's like, you know, when you get to those those, those spy people, like the CIA, those kind of people like that, what they have you, is they have a truth, right? There's a truth, but they wrap it in so many things but by the time you try to get to that truth, you're so confused that once you finally get to that truth, you don't know whether it's true or not. They got you in a spin. Eee! Right? So he might have one little tiny truth in all that he's in the two hours that he's talking, right? But you're too busy railing against this he said or that he said or whatever it is that you you miss that truth. And so you condemn his whole thing as being but but he's he always slips the truth in there. So it's gonna be I'm so anyway. So I wanted to just give you that on Donald Trump. But see, the whole thing about Donald Trump is that he's doing what he's supposed to do. If you react to what he's doing and what you're basically doing, well, you're being unfocused. You're in his web, you know? <laughs> you're, you're in his web. You, well, the question is, he's got his agenda. He's pushing. He's got all the, the, the press, you know, well, the mainstream press, whatever they call it, that kind of press behind it, the, the legacy press, whatever they call it these days, lame street, whatever, press on behind him, right? So he's got all those people behind him. So when he's spinning his little 
So they're 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 too busy in this in the spin of things and not in that tiny grain of proof truth that he threw out there that, that you can't really you don't want to deal with because the other stuff is so fascinating, it's so interesting. You know, the magician with the you know right hand and he's doing something else with his left hand, the puppet with the with this doing the this doing the puppet thing with with, with the hands, you're paying attention to the puppet in the puppet's mouth and he's picking on the side of his mouth. Those kind of deceptive kind of things, that's what we're talking about. You know? That's Donald Trump. So the question is always is, what are you going to do? I was on a, a conference call the other the other week. Somebody said, we got to get rid of 45. We got to get rid of 45. I didn't ask the question right. But my question is, well, what are you going to replace 45 with? If, 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 the, if there's a through line from basically from Ronald Reagan, right, right to this moment, there's a through line. And you can see where it's going. And it's not going in our favor. The through line actually goes back to Nixon. I'm, I'm leaving him out of uh, him and Carter out of for for and, and Gerald Ford out of it for for a bit. I just want to start with with, with Reagan because most people don't even know what what Nixon was about, or, and nobody even mentions that that Gerald Ford and 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 and, uh, and, and Nelson Rockefeller, our vice president, vice president, weren't duly elected. They don't mention that kind of thing. And Jimmy Carter, even though he's doing what he's doing now, remember, like even with him, he had a lot of low intensity warfare. You know, so there was always wars going on, so whatever. And uh, uh, anyway, so we're talking about a certain time period, and these folks here in this time period, what, what, what they they only reflect, they only know what they know. That people, are, it's difficult for people to read and get context. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's just difficult. I don't know why it's difficult. It's just difficult. But if you're sequestered now and you have the time, well, now it's time for you to do your little research. You could be a researcher. I'm a researcher. Well, well, I am a certain uh, certain things I research. Certain things, things like this, whatever. Okay. In other words, you can do stuff that you can really research the stuff. You don't have to take what the you know, go to the source. You know, every they have papers. You know, when you let me have to do read, you get a PDF. It's a paper. It's an academic paper. So what you do is you read the, this. The, there's a statement up front. It's only but usually like a page, page and a half, maybe even half a page at the most. You read that. If it interests you, then you you sort of skip to the very end of the paper to the conclusions. Okay, I'm giving you a shortcut. Don't worry about. It. And you see what it says. If that all turns you on, then you can go into the weeds and read into the paper. But you should really read the summary of the, the big thing in the beginning. And the thing at the very end, you know what I mean? You read those two things, right? And it's easy. It's like reading two pages, you know what I mean? Better than reading a newspaper, you know? And then you get your information, you can get, and you know, you can go on from there. Unlike Donald Trump, who just, whoever's around, I guess, you know, or, or whatever, uh, whoever is, not, whoever, Tucker Carlson, whoever he listens to on Fox, whatever, whoever he listens to, that's that's what it is. So who the question is, who are you listening to? Where are you getting your information from? Because he's getting information from people that he has to do their bidding. And they every time he does his bidding, they're bidding a little bit more. They throw more stuff on it. So he has to choose between these kind of things. And one of them is more of his bidding than the other. It's of their bidding than the other. You get it. Anyway, that's just a message from me. T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet. Eating chocolate donuts. Drinking tea. Just letting you know. But I only suspect.